Hey guys, 1280, what's going on? Well, have a bit of a change, an update. Well, um, let's look up. If you notice two by four, up where the opener mounts is missing. As you can see, uh, what happened, well, long story short, I was making a video, or I was planning on making a video about springs and uh, the door ended up flying hard into the opener stop bolt and it ripped that in half to two by four. So I just mounted it right there and it works. But I also put something else up. Like you can see it's a belt drive rail. Follow it back to my lovely, well, you think 3850, however, it's not this. <clears throat> is my Whisper Drive Plus model 248754 that you've seen before. So you're thinking, where did I get the red case? And why is it on here? Well, because the other case was not that in, in good shape and it had a crease in the bottom. But to be honest, I mean, look at that. I mean, it looks so much better on this opener. So this literally looks like a 3850. Um, like I said, ignore the springs. I did that just for something to do. I don't know. Just for, uh, cause I want to. I mean, look at that. How beautiful. Is it? So let's go ahead and run it up and down with the 78 on. Then I'm going to show you an opener I've never shown before. And I haven't shown it. I mean, you may have seen it occasionally in videos if you've been paying attention. If not, well, you know. But the reason I haven't shown it is because it's still broken and I I'm still struggling to fix it, but in this case, I'm going to go ahead and reveal it because I got to have to show you what I did with the case for the Whisper Jar Plus and where that case came from. So here we go. Oh, and I did take this apart, completely cleaned it, greased it, so it does run better. Here we go. I love how quick it moves. Look at that case. Actually, hold on. Sorry, I didn't realize there was stuff on my light or on my camera. You can't tell until you like aim at the opener with its lights on. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? Let's go ahead and go outside and yeah, definitely looks a lot different than uh, last time. Uh, the reason the rugs are there's rugs right here is because. The other day when I went to my grandma's to take a bath because we still have no water from the uh, snowstorm we had. Uh, all The road right here in front of our driveway was full of slush and going and leaving the neighborhood and going around was full of slush. So it got stuck to the car and I pulled it in the garage and it fell and melted and both these rugs were completely soaked. So I had to... Um, Take them out here, bring them out here to dry. So, and that's why the car's not in the garage. Love that opener now. That opener just looks so beautiful with the case. Definitely runs really good after cleaning it and greasing it. And as you can tell by the truck, yeah, she's. <laughs> Yeah, she's dirty after that. So, and just for anyone that's wondering, legacy to say. Actually, here, I'll go ahead and run the legacy. I think I just showed my code, so. Oops. Probably we'll have to, what's that? Probably we'll have to, um, uh, yeah, change it. Oh, well. Um, so, update is the. 89 on limits missing. It is taken down. It's actually on the Whisper Jar Plus side because I put it for the 1265 and then I broke the 1265. So that's why. But it does make a difference closing. If you listen. It doesn't make as much noise when it closed. Okay. 
It is a little noisier um, without the 89YM, but I'm okay with that for now uh, because um, it doesn't make as much noise closing. Just in case it didn't show the full code, which I'm pretty sure I did. Outside shot. I like this iPhone 11. It's like almost has a wide angle lens almost. On landscape mode, it's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and put the Whisper Jar Plus back up. Um, AKA 3050. 30, <laughs> so it looks like it. All right, and we'll, we'll go back down. And I'll reveal the other over that I have. Look at that. The arm. And uh, it does obviously clear that the door doesn't even... door is about that far from touching it, so it's got like another inch or so. So... Now let's go ahead and show the opener I haven't shown before where I got that LiftMaster case and where the Whisper Drive Plus came from. I've had this for several months. Um, it's needed a lot of work. It's still needing work. But here's the Whisper Drive Plus case. Follow it with the screwdriver rail. Can you guess what this was with the red case? That's right. This is a 3840. The 12, the light's not the greatest because the 1265 is kind of blocking it. There you go, 3840. It um, needs power cord fixed. The little metal thing that it sits, that the cord plugs into is, that's the cord for the 1265. Um, is miss has broken off somewhere i don't know what happened to it so that needs fixed um when i got it the power cord was mitt cut and the board was bad finally got a, the board for it and um went to put the power cord on and the little middle thing i don't know what happened to it so that sticks up on the board because on the 3840 there's a separate little board like this that the power core plugs into i thought when i got the whisper drive plus i took it apart cleaned it a little bit i figured it would have the same board as the 3840 where the power cord plugs into and i could use that if i ever took the whisper drive plus down but it doesn't so that's where i'm stay uh, that's where i'm at with this um with the 3840 yeah it's not being shown, but look how beautiful that is. Um, what did it come with? It came with a 373P that is broken and my, and a, oh, where is it? Is it in here? Or is it not? It's not in here, okay. Um, this didn't come with it. This obviously, yeah, uh, this I got with the Whisper Dart Plus when I installed a PD 752D. Here, I need to, like I said, get new light curves because look, um, yeah, that broke. So it barely holds on now. Uh, there's the 1280. I need to put it back together on um, that. It's just a faucet cover to protect the faucet during our uh, winter storm. I'm missing it, but it came with 398 smart panel. Came with that. Came with 373P, which is broken, unfortunately, which sucks. Um, I have no idea where it went. What happened to the smart panel? But hmm, I don't know. But anyway, it came with that, and it came with the 373P. It came with door arm which it actually ended up having two door arms i don't know why it needed two door arms it was installed on a one-piece door um 
I don't know, and it got tra uh, changed out for a sectional. So with a one-piece door, why it needed two door arms, I honestly don't know. Well, let's put the light back on because it does look good. And the 58 arm is down just for a change. That is beautiful, isn't it? And I took uh, some of, I took shot towel and took some of this. Totally awesome. And completely wiped the case down. And it's beautiful. And as you know, with these DC openers, the longer antenna, um, it's because of better range. Uh, range for it when it's in battery mode. I don't know what happened to the 378 or 398 on, but it did come with that. Came with two center brackets that were like bent and ext I, don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know. It's hard to explain. <sighs> oh, there it is. It broke. You can see right there. I don't know what happened, but it sucks because I like this panel. As you can see, I got a lot of stuff in my tool box. I have these, which I had four, but um, I had a customer, that PD752D customer, the bracket ripped out of the door. And so I just took one of these and bolted it to the door. It'll work better. Uh, I got a bunch of plastic rollers that I took off a job. I just kept just for, if someone has a broken roller and it's an emergency, I have one. Um, starting capacitor, that is from the chain drive gear that I took out to uh, put chain drive gear in the belt cap, this, for the 1280 to work. Um, I have a pulley for the end of the rail for a chain cable drive, my 888. A um, bunch of wires. Um, instructions for the keypad for a genie. This is the Genie belt drive instruction for my um, 7055 that I've shown before on the big door and then on this door. Like I said, starting capacitors. Let's see what's in here. More wires. Inner trolley. Or a square rail. Arm clock. It's showing what else I have. Garage roper wires. I have uh, this logic board. Door arms. Front panel for a 7220 for the 7220 and you can see the light cover is missing or light that is I needed it more arms um so yeah anyway so that's the update in here that's the whisper drive plus and the um update of it uh why it's here um on here, I'll show you what I mean by broke 1265. So what happened is when that happened, I was going, I shoved the end of the rail over on top of the spring to um, kind of let it hold there um, while I was removing it to put up the, this two by four, but it ended up being too thick. I didn't have anything. So I just went ahead and bolted it right there. I uh, didn't bolt it very, uh, just like one, bolt mostly in just so I can see if it would clear the door and it did so that's why I went ahead and did it there and I kind of like it there it brings everything a little closer but um anyway uh when it was over there I accidentally not hit it and uh it fell down and it bent the ping bracket over which I may replace with one of the, the one uh stars. and um it uh, completely destroyed, the, as you can see, completely destroyed the truck. There's a chain glide and the legacy. I need to put the legacy back together as well. <laughs> because I took the logic board out of it to plug into the legacy, or the chain glide. See if that was if what was going on. And yeah, the chain glide worked after that. So I need to put it back together and I need to find a logic board for that or get another chain glide for parts. Also have a bo uh, the board for the LW3000 EV. So I have a my keyboard spare there's a case for the 7220 by the way i forgot i still had that <laughs> so anyway there we go guys there is the update it's a long update but here i'll show you what i mean is you gotta see it's bent right there and here let me release this you can see it's loose oh that's not uh, that's up there but that is loose as well as you can see. 
tighten it down a little by hand. The reason I, it's only, here, hand tightened, because if it's some uh, reason, I think it's because it got bent, I think. But when I tighten it down with the impact, not like overly tight, but just tight, um, it puts, it binds uh, the trolley and it, the rail bends down. And then as it's closing, it, right, as the top panel comes around, it pushes the rail up and trips the force. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go and give it one more run with my 895 Max. And that'll be it. There it goes. It's almost like an accelerator. It's so quick. It does run better after, so. Donna, that's it. And that squeak you heard, it was they were going in the house. Look at that beautifulness. That Liftmaster case is beautiful. Definitely runs better without the, uh, or after it's been greased and cleaned. So, but that's why I put the case uh, from my 3040 on here. It's because, well, obviously the case, Whisper Dark Plus case, is as, as dirty as hell. And it's got a crease, so I wanted to make it look good, and it really, really does look good, doesn't it? And it's a beautiful, Liftmaster definitely makes some beautiful cases, don't they? Yeah. Ever charge. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Um, and uh, what's nice about the 3840s being a DC screwdriver battery backup. It has the EverCharge standby power system logos. So, and this is a WhisperTrack Plus with standby power, with EverCharge standby power system. So that was nice. And you can see over here, the green light, it is steady because it's fully charged. Which, uh, when this the 1265 was up here and the WhisperTrack Plus was down here, I still had it plugged in because I, just didn't feel like pulling the battery out of it. Um, and it was still able to move up and down after 12 hours of being unplugged because of the power outage. So, yeah. But anyway, that's it. I'm shutting up because that's enough rambling. Um, I will catch y'all next time. Take care, guys.